What is good, Dev Guys? It's your boy Kane. I'm back with another tutorial. This one is not going to be 30 minutes, I promise. We're going to show you guys how to quickly get set up with Houdini Engine and start playing around with some of those free HDAs. Man, this is a blessing for people who actually make HDAs and people who look at Houdini like, oh my God, I want that, but I can't afford it. Uh, so I, I, let's get right into it, man. Shit. So uh, the first thing you want to do is go to Houdini's website, sideeffects.com. And you can just, this is one of their biggest things right now. Just click on that. And uh, I'm going to do Houdini Engine for Unreal, but this works the same with Unity. I don't know the exact steps because I stopped using Unity uh, not too long ago. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty straightforward. But here you just want to go ahead and hit the, they make this easy for you. I'm just walking through this to show you guys this trick that I found and um, something that was actually pretty cool that Houdini is, do, uh, Houdini is doing now. And since I actually have like an actual license for Houdini, it, this is great because updating Houdini is a pain in my ass. Like you have to download this installer again, update it, delete your old one, copy the folders over. It's a pain in the ass, man, I'm not gonna lie. But here they have a uh, like a launcher now. So don't download this. Other videos tell you to download this. Download this launcher right here. Um, so once you get that downloaded, it's going to look a little something like this. Boom. You're not going to be signed in. You're going to need to create an account. The same account that, um, that you used signing up. Because you will have to, in order to get, okay, so... In order to get an actual license for um, Houdini Engine, I'm sorry, I missed some steps. You have to uh, go here and quote unquote buy a license, right? So uh, you add it to your cart and you go to check out here. I already have this, so I'm not going to go all the way through this. Oh, shit, this is personal information, so I need to blur this out. I will edit this video. Um, and you answer all these questions here, and you basically complete this. But you will need an account to complete this. So, um, yeah, but once you have that, you'll be able to sign into your account right here. And you want to go to Houdini Plugins and hit this plus sign right here. And you want to pick the production build, the newest one, which is this right here. And it'll pop up with this window right here to let you pick which engine you want. Houdini Engine for Unreal, Houdini Engine for Unity. Since you got a license for Unreal, go ahead and click and install that, right? Once you get it installed, it'll show up right here, your plugin versions. You hit details and you can find out um, where it installed. But when you install it, you pretty much pick where you install it. So this is just to double check. Uh, if you just was clicking through the goddamn things and agreeing without reading, it has the information right here for you. So you go to that directory, which is, for me is here. Side effects software, Houdini Engine, Unreal, the version, and the version of Unreal that you want to install this to. So you want to grab this folder, copy, and uh, now you want to find where you on your hard drive have Unreal installed. Click on the folder, go inside the engine, go into uh, plugins, I'm sorry, runtime, and paste that folder inside of here. Now, when you go into Unreal, This fucking song is stuck in my head. The shitty thing about having Steam VR installed is that it fucking pops up every time I open them. I gotta literally change that. Just create an empty project or whatever project uh, you want to bring this in. You can bring it into a project that's already started and uh, you can start playing around with it there. Stop this. I don't want to do VR right now. I don't know if you guys can see behind me. 
that is a uh, VR treadmill right there. Uh, yeah, think about making games for it, but the uh, latest engine that you can develop in is 4.20, I think. So that's kind of a turnoff. I already have it plugged in, uh, but if you don't, you'll get a pop up right here in your window that says manage plugins or dismiss. You'll go to plugins, type in who, it'll pop up. And there's Houdini Engine right there. Um, there's also some, some, um, starter kit. There's also some free assets that they start you off with. So if you just go back to the website and you get the UE4 starter kit, you can uh, hit this button right here and it'll down, uh, download a package for you right here. Hit this download button and this will download a package for you. <laughs> and um, he has some tutorials here on this page where you can kind of learn how to use these things, but that's on you. These are some very good assets, uh, pretty easy to work with. Like if I wanted to bring in one of those HDAs, let's just do rocks. Boom, you got, and you got a uh, procedural rock in there. Um, if you go here, you can mess around and choose what you want to do, like say, I, uh, this is what they show you in the tutorial. You can create a rock out of cubes, man. Out of cubes, man. A rock formation out of cubes, man. Yeah, out of cubes, man. Look back on here. Um, we want to do a world outliner input. And start selecting. And use current selection. And now you see we got those rocks finding their way on our cubes. So when you do a level block out, you can really block out the rocks in cubes. Houdini engine. It's a it's magic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh shit, no. It's why I paid for it. Uh, trust me, it's a very steep learning curve. Don't don't get me wrong. I don't know how to I'm not a professional in it by any means. I still um, use Blender tutorials to kind of learn how to model and I emulate that inside of Houdini. Uh, I'm also following a couple tutorials on Udemy, a couple courses on Udemy to help me understand the, the package a little bit more, but it's definitely something I want to nail down because being able to just block out my level and plug in assets at, at, at the end of the fact, oh my God, that's beautiful. But, um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys, man. Like, subscribe. Appreciate you for stopping by. Uh, this will be one of the first videos I edit. This was a raw tutorial, but I got to edit out that, uh, I got to edit out that check, that, uh, information. Y'all got, y'all can't have my address. Motherfucker be pulling up on me. I'm famous. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing, man. Y'all get out of here, man. Peace.